Everywhere around the world, voices are rising to demand a more just world, a more equal world. That's not surprising, considering the rise of the neoliberal wave that has become a tsunami. Everywhere around the world, governments encouraged by international economic organizations are attacking everything that resembles a public service. Measures adopted to redistribute wealth are being brutally dismantled or weakened. The rights of unions are constantly attacked. Everywhere we see the catastrophic results of these actions. It results in increased inequalities between the rich and the poor. With the economic crisis, these policies have become a farce. Everyone in the world is starting to realize the absurdity of an economic system that is able to produce an unparalleled amount of wealth that only benefits an increasingly small number of people. It is the same minority that today suggests that they have the solutions to problems that they themselves have created. According to them, we have to implement austerity measures instead of social programs to improve the situation. It is in this context that the liberal government of Jean Charest decided to impose an increase of 75% in tuition fees on university students. An increase of $1,625 a year in average to people who would like to attend university. This increase is the second one since this government took power nine years ago. In fact, tuition fees have doubled for university students under Charest's government. During that period, my salary as a student has not increased. I don't know about yours. Grants and loans also didn't double during the same period. Consequently, students are getting burdened with more and more debt, and they have to work harder and harder. For some, the choice is cruel. Either getting more in debt or stop going to school. For others, it's not even a consideration. Many are deterred from pursuing their education because of their fear of indebtedness. We, here in Quebec, have seen the positive results of low tuition. It has greatly enabled accessibility to education. Quebec has the highest level of enrollment in post-secondary education in Canada. It's 10% higher than the Canadian average according to the Research Institute in Social Economic Information. This means that 85,000 people more... Shit. This means that 85,000 people more in Quebec have access to higher education than anywhere else in Canada. These gains are not a product of past government's generosities. They are the result of struggles by groups like the student unions, obviously, but also from other groups. The university tuition hike is not just an economic issue for students. Access to higher education benefits society as a whole. Quebec became a modern society when it gave itself institutions of higher learning accessible to everyone everywhere on its territory. When the liberals of Jean Souray are now offering us is an indebtedness of students and a return to an error, a great leap backward, to a time when only doctors' children could aspire to become doctors, to a time when the sons or daughters of workers became themselves workers. Actually, 50% of students in Quebec are the first generation of their family to attend university. We opened the doors of the universities only recently to everyone, but our economic elite is already trying to close the door on the people of Quebec. This project is totally contrary to the goals of the ASSC. For us, the university shouldn't become less and less accessible, but more and more. We shouldn't increase tuition fees. We should stop their increase and finally abolish them to provide free education to everyone. For us, higher education is a fundamental right. No economic barrier should prevent anyone from pursuing his or her education. Education for anyone and everyone shouldn't depend on her or his abilities parents to pay. Everyone should be able to choose whatever subject they want to study according to their taste. The tuition fee hike stands in opposition to this. 
beyond its economic aspect, the consequences of the Sharae's government tuition fee hike means that thousands of people will have to renounce their life goal. Thousands of dreams will be shattered. People will not be able to realize their potential, not because they are unable or because they don't have the courage or perseverance for it, but because they don't have the money. There is a word for this kind of situation. It's called injustice. But there is more. What's behind the tuition fee increase is not only a will to limit the number of people with access to university, but it is also to change the nature of the universities themselves. Every day we hear about the fact that we live in a globalized economy, at least in North America. We all know that our manufacturing plants are moving to Asia and elsewhere. We are being told that because of that our economy must change, that the new economy is an economy based on knowledge, an economy based on creating and designing new products. In this light, universities must also change, we are told. Education, health, and environment should be used to create profit, to maximize profits. Ideas are not there to be debated anymore, but to be sold. It's the end of the university as we know it that is the question. Universities have been historically places of collective reflection, construction, and transmission of a common culture since the Middle Ages. The priority for universities, according to the promoters of the globalized ideology, should be the production of knowledge rapidly transformed into profits. In other words, the universities are gradually becoming research and development agencies for private enterprise that, as we know, always benefits the same minority while it destroys our planet.